the line scan bar. What is it? How does it work? What applications will it work well with? A few of the questions we'll be answering in this guide. We've created a large infographic of this topic, which you can download from our website. There'll be a link at the end of this video and in the footnotes of this page. Although you may not know it, there's a very good chance that you've already used it. The line scan bar has come a long way since it was first developed for photocopiers, fax machines and flatbed scanners. It can now be used in a very different and much faster way. Conventional line scan systems can consist of hundreds of different lens and light combinations. Specifying and configuring them can be very time consuming. This is where the line scan bar makes things a lot easier. The line scan bar, also known as the CIS, contact image sensor, is very compact and completely self-contained. The light, lens and sensor are all integrated into one unit. Its length, or width, covers the width of the object. So the field of view is a lot easier to determine than it would be with a line scan system. Every line scan bar is dispatched with pre-calibrated register holes, which enable accurate mounting on alignment pins. This helps with very swift deployment on new installations. No risk of decalibration during maintenance procedures. And it makes it very simple to replace systems or even replicate them. According to Mitsubishi, with just four screws and four cables, the CIS system can be installed in just a few minutes. At 29 by 33 microns, the line scan bar has got very large pixels. These are mapped one-to-one -one with the object using a rod lens array, delivering a telecentric view of large objects with minimal optical distortion. Let's dive into some more detail on how this works. The rod lenses and the Cellefoc lens array. No, it's not the name of the latest pop group. Rod lenses are cylindrical lenses with very flat surfaces at either end. The rod lenses used in the line scan bar are gradient index lenses. The index of refraction in these lenses, i.e. how much they bend the light, changes with position. In rod lenses, the index changes with the distance in the radial direction. So when the distances are right, the Grin rod lens will act as an image relay device. If you arrange lots of these Grin lenses into a repeating pattern, array, spaced so the image produced by the lens slightly overlaps its neighbour, the result is a self-focusing lens array, the Selfoc array, which is capable of producing a clear, sharp, continuous image across the narrow sensor head. Telecentricity. Conventional lenses, from the nature of how they are shaped, perspectively distort the reproduced images, such that the outer edges of the image undergoes a different magnification to the centre and have a slightly different angle of incidence. As the sensor in the line scan bar covers the full width of the object with each pixel mapped one-to-one -one with the object, a telecentric, distortion-free image is created. This makes it very suitable for metrology or high-accuracy inspections. These lenses also offer a much shorter working distance than conventional lenses, making it a very good fit when space is limited. Let's have a look at a few of the applications where the line scan bar could be a great fit. Print inspection, offset digital or flexo print inspection. Foil or film inspection, holograms are a great example of this. Solar panel wafer inspection, Textiles, checking weaves on fabrics, electronic PCB inspection, and many more. Thanks for watching. Get in touch if you'd like to know if the line scan bar can help with your application.